everyone. Welcome to Airy TV, dear viewers. This is English News Broadcast for this hour with me, Bersabe Tahle. Coming up are the top stories for today. New elementary school opened in Adiya Qana in the Haile subzone. Seminar on proper use of pesticides organized in Salah Daro area. U.S. imposes new sanctions on Iran's shadow fleet of oil tankers. And the U.N. General Assembly adopts resolutions reaffirming two-state solution. On your domestic reports, a new elementary school has commenced operations in the Adiyana administrative area of Imnahaili subzone, providing much-needed educational services to students in the region. Mr. Marek Kiros, head of the education office in the subzone, stated that the school's establishment aims to ensure access to education for children in remote areas. He noted that prior to the school's opening, children from Adiyana had to travel 15 kilometers to attend classes, leading to high dropout rates and academic challenges. Mr. Terhaz Fuadu, acting administrator of Imna Haile Sabzon, praised the community for their contribution to improving the teaching and learning process. She also emphasized the need to complete the remaining infrastructure for the school to function optimally. The Imna Haile Sabzon has 29 schools, ranging from preschools to high schools, actively providing educational services to students. In other news, the Ministry of Agriculture branch in Galanafi Sabzon conducted a seminar in the Salahdaro administrative area to enhance farmers' understanding of the proper use of pesticides, thereby boosting agricultural production. Farmers from the administrative areas of Adamzemach, Adgombolo, and Salahdaro attended the seminar. Mr. Habtamariam Amenai, head of the agriculture office in the subzone, urged the farmers to refrain from the use of chemical pesticides, citing their harmful effects on human and livestock health. Experts leading the seminar emphasized the adverse impact of chemical pesticides on the health of humans and livestock, and encouraged the farmers to adopt organic fertilizers and pesticides as safer alternatives. They also provided a detailed guidance on the correct application of chemical pesticides and the necessary follow-up actions if no alternative methods are available. Mr. Mesfun Gavretin Sae, Managing Director in the subzone, called on participants to apply the knowledge gained from the seminar to improve their agricultural practices and outcomes. Residents in Dekandu in the Ilaber Ed subzone area actively participating in a popular campaign to renovate a 12 kilometer dirt road connecting their administrative area. The road damaged by flooding has been causing significant difficulties for vehicles. Mr. Tesfai Yesus Bokhre, administrator of the Kaandu administrative area, praised the strong participation of residents, noting that over 200 people are contributing daily to the campaign. Mr. Zemheret Mengistav, a representative from the Agriculture Office, highlighted that in addition to the road renovation, residents are also engaged in extensive water and soil conservation activities. The Dekandu administrative area, home to over 2,000 people, is one of the four administrative areas in Anseba Lemecheli and is located 25 kilometers south of Elaberet. DVOS, do stay tuned for your international reports and more after the short break. Welcome back. The United States has piled on additional sanctions against Iran, targeting 35 entities and vessels that it says are part of a shadow fleet of vessels transporting cargoes of Iranian petroleum to foreign markets. The U.S. Department of the Treasury said on Tuesday in a statement that the sanctions are similar to those previously imposed two months ago in response to Iran's October 1 missile attack on military sites in Israel and its announced nuclear escalations. 
Iran continues to funnel revenues from its petroleum trade toward the development of its nuclear program, proliferation of its ballistic missiles and unmanned aerial vehicle technology, and sponsorship of its regional terrorist proxies, risking further destabilizing the region. Acting Under Secretary for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence Bradley Smith said in a statement, Iranian oil and petrochemicals are already under heavy U.S. sanctions. Iran has warned that if an energy war were to start, the world would lose about 12 million barrels of oil daily, about 10 percent of global production. On today's final report, the UN General Assembly on Tuesday adopted two resolutions requesting Israel to withdraw from the occupied Palestinian territories and occupied Syrian Golan, reaffirming the two-state solution as the only path to lasting peace in the Middle East. In a resolution passed with 157 votes in favor, eight against and seven abstentions, the General Assembly demanded Israel to cease all settlement activities and evacuate settlers from the occupied Palestinian territory. The document expressed unwavering support in accordance with international law for the two-state solution of Israel and Palestine, emphasizing the need to urgently commit to a Middle East peace process. The Assembly also adopted another resolution declaring that Israel has failed to comply with Security Council Resolution 497 of 1981 and its jurisdiction imposed on the occupied Syrian Golan is null and void. The resolution urged Israel to resume talks on the Syrian and Lebanese tracks and to withdraw from all occupied Syrian Golan. You're still watching Airy TV Review us and now recap of the major headlines. New elementary school opened in Adia Anna in the Haile subzone. Seminar on proper use of pesticides organized in Saladaro area. US imposes new sanctions on Iran's shadow fleet of oil tankers. And the UN General Assembly adopts resolutions reaffirming two-state solution. That was it for today, DVS. Thanks for watching.